Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian. And we are here with Hera who is currently uh, just curled up by the roots of the trees, but she's now woken up, it is morning, and uh, we are going to have to go hunt because she's getting pretty hungry. <laughs> uh, and I see something over there, but I'm not sure it's really something we want to mess with. And I guess it's not quite morning yet, it's kind of pre-dawn. But there's something moving over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's between the trees on the other side of the river, and I think it's one of those uh, other kinds of raptors. There's also... I don't know what the... I thought I saw maybe one of the crocodiles. There's two types of crocodiles, you guys have told me, too, now. And, uh, oh, there's something this way. Oh, I see something right there. Oh, yeah. And because it's yellow, I think that means it is a potential threat. Did it just move? Oh no, it's oh it's one of those little bird things and they move around now, I guess. I don't remember them doing that before, but this guy's pretty uh, pretty trapped there in the corner and we got him. Okay. So we should be able to eat and we got to keep an eye out because if that is in fact the um the other small type of raptor, I think they're like the Archaeoraptor or something something like that. It starts with an A. And I think if that is one, we need to be kind of cautious because as a juvenile, or not even really a full juvenile yet, we're still pre we're still the young... We're not quite a hatchling. We're a little older than all that, but we're not quite a juvenile yet either. And so I think we need to be kind of cautious of that. Let's see, is this... This isn't part of the saltwater marsh over here, is it? I don't think it is. Gotta be cautious. I don't see any danger, though, and I don't think this is part of the saltwater marsh. Yeah, okay, no, this is normal water. Okay, we're good. I think... Alright, I think we should be okay. We're gonna head this way, though. And I believe... Oh, that's a crocodile! Okay, we're getting out of the way. Um, That's one of those crocodiles, for sure. I didn't even see him. He's hiding really well. Um, I don't think he's somebody we want to mess with, because if he came after us, then I think we'd be in a bit of trouble. We did manage to get this guy here, and I'm watching to see if he's sneaking up on us, because I don't want any nonsense from him. We'll go ahead and eat that, and then we'll grab another... Well, well, we'll eat that, and then we'll grab the last piece of meat and walk with it, because... Having a little bit of extra on hand can't hurt. There's another crocodile up there. Oh, and I think I heard one off this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're being stalked. We're being stalked. All right, we got to get out of here because there was one of those uh, other raptors right back there. Those guys are not good news. I think there's still potentially a large threat to us right here and right now at this age. So we need to be pretty cautious. We're going to move this way. Yeah, we gotta be real careful. We're gonna circle around this way. Is this part of the saltwater marsh? I hope not. I'm hoping it isn't. Oh my gosh, what? 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 What, what just happened? What just happened? What is that thing? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, okay, so our health meter will pulse. Stay well fed and hydrated to counter it. Oh my gosh, we've been poisoned. That thing was in the water! What the heck was that? Okay, you need to get a drink, and it still could be chasing you. Okay, we got it. Oh, man. Okay, we've got to get up here. We're well fed, at least, and pretty well hydrated. Is this salt water? Okay, the health meter's still pulsing. Is this... is this salt water? This is salt water. Oh, no, we've got to get away from this, then. Oh, please tell me... Our health isn't going to keep going down like this. That's awful. Okay, we've got to get something. we got to get some, some more water. I didn't even see that guy. He's still right down there, too. Okay, we've got to... We're going to catch this guy. He kind of just lunged out of the water at us. Okay, we didn't actually catch that guy right off the bat. Okay, I'm going to keep sniffing around because that thing is bad, bad, bad news. Bad news bears. Okay, we need to get back someplace where we'll actually be able to get water because the poison is still in effect and if we're not careful we're going to be in some serious trouble here in fact we already are in serious trouble we really oh and we don't have any stamina left uh oh 
You guys, this had better not be how it ends. What? How are you even supposed to counter that? I don't know how you're supposed to counter that. Um. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to load this. This is our current one. This will take us back to where we were. I don't even know how you're supposed to counter that. So basically, uh, I should mention this. The way we've played Sarion in the past when it comes to dying is right now we're not on... Um, we're not on any sort of a permanent death thing because the game can still be a little bit unbalanced and I'm not sure, I think that could be a pretty good example of, of it being a little unbalanced because we went from having full health to having no health despite being well fed and pretty well hydrated. Um, and so I don't know if it requires you to be perfectly hydrated or what, but, oh, and there's another one over there. So that's why we're not uh, we're not running on a um, that's why we're not running on permanent death system right now because at the t at this time there are definitely still some balancing factors that are going to go into this game. It's maybe not quite where it's meant to be just yet, and because of that, we're not going to be um, we're not going to be doing anything with permanent death. Okay, there's still oh there's something over there. It's one of those other raptors. Is he following us? He's watching us. I'm gonna fight him. I think I might fight him because I don't like the way he's looking at us. Uh, but so that's why we don't have a permanent death system just yet. Because as far as I understand, okay. Oh, he's threat. Is he? Was that a threat? Oh yeah, he's leaving. Okay. Um, and then yeah, cause let's okay, let's take a look at this guy, and we'll see if we can run in. And if we can just bite him in the butt there. So, I've also, there is an encyclopedia. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, alright. <laughs> what we're going to do here, we're going to do something for science. Um, we're going to let him bite us again. And, okay, he bit us. You can see our health meter is pulsing. And it's still going down. So we have to stay well fed and hydrated. If we come over here and get a drink, does that, does our... our do we have to be at 100% full uh, to be able to counteract it? Or is it just automatically going to kill us? Because, look it, we're completely well fed, we're completely hydrated, and it's still going down. Which basically meant that the, even in the saltwater marsh it was just instant. Yeah, it's still going down. It's definitely still going down. Is it just impossible to counter at this age? Because, oh, that's a croc. We're getting out of here. <laughs> um, is it just impossible to counter at this age because you have so little health? Is that like a, just an automatic death when you're this young? Or is it possible to counteract it? Because, again, we went from full health to, uh, to having basically no health. And I think we're probably going to die again. So this is exactly why we don't, uh, we don't have it an automatic... Like, we don't have a permanent death... What? What is that? Oh, that's that guy screeching over there. Okay. This is why we don't have an, uh, a hard and fast death, um, death system here, because sometimes the game still needs a little bit of balancing, I think. And that looks like what's happening here, because you know what? We're going to die again. Yeah, we just died again. So because there, it's like basically an unavoidable death, it's a one-shot kill, there's literally nothing you can do about that. Um, that that's one of those things where you have to, like, that's why we don't have the death system in place yet. As Sarion continues to develop and it gets more balanced and they figure out they, all these little details, then we may move into having a permanent death system, but this is why we don't at the time being. There is actually, like, a hardcore mode, basically, where if you, um, like, if you, if you die, then it actually deletes your game. Or, like, not the whole, not the whole Sarion game, of course, but the, um, the same file, so you can't restart. But, yeah, okay, so there's several of these guys around, and then there's... Okay. Oh, what's happening here? Is somebody screeching at us? Oh, is he coming after us? He is kind of coming after us, okay. Okay, he's... He's on the attack. 
We're gonna threaten back. Yeah, I think we're gonna stand our ground. Enough fooling around with the whole death business. I think Hero would come running and bite him on the rump there. Kind of give him a little nip on the rump. Okay, oh, he's actually pretty fast. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna run. Keep running. Keep running. Get over here. She made him mad. <laughs> we definitely made him mad there. Is he still around? Oh, he's coming for us. Yeah, he's still coming for us. All right, we're gonna stay stay on the run. I'm gonna turn around and threaten him. Or may, uh, that was meant to be aimed at him, but we didn't turn quite fast enough. Okay, nope, he's still coming after us. All right, we're gonna see if we can circle him and take a nice little uh, nip at his tail there, which I don't think we managed to do. We'll we'll face him head on. All right. Oh 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 my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're actually on. We actually did raptor, raptor prey restraint. This was not what I was planning. Not what I was planning. Okay. Oh oh oh. We took him out. Okay. <laughs> we took him out. Oh my goodness. Wow. That actually was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Okay then. I'm gonna look around too to see if there's any more of those nasty little lizardy things. Uh, there there is an in-game encyclopedia too. Um, that's accessible from the title menu, and then it's not accessible here from the pause menu, but uh, you can see it from the title menu, and it talks about some of the creatures that are in Sarion, and so it did say that uh, the um, the poisonous things we ran into are considered, like, I guess the prehistoric equivalent of the, the Gila monster, which is interesting because... Uh, I don't think we actually have them in the desert where I live, but we have them in deserts near us. Uh, in some of the, some of the other deserts in the, uh, the surrounding areas of the United States. And so that's kind of an interesting thing. But yeah, those things are bad news. And it'll be interesting. We'll probably we'll have to go poke one again as an, uh, as an adult. And see if they're still that dangerous. Or if it is just because we're young that it's like an instant kill. Because there are things that can instantly kill you when you're young. I just... The one that originally killed us basically just lunged out of the water. And that's... That's what's I, sometimes what I don't like. See, I'm very much of the opinion that if you're going to die in a game, it should be of some error of your own. Not because of... um, <laughs> Not because of something that happens to you. Which is why sometimes in the game we account for little loopholes and things... So that if we just randomly die, thanks to, like, a, a prehistoric Gila monster popping out of the water at us, <laughs> uh, then it's not just an instant death. Oh no, you're dead because it, of no fault to your own. When, when it comes to games, uh, I like to have it be where when bad things happen, it's actually directly your fault. Um, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of randomness. And so you'll find with our Sarion series, it's a little bit interesting because... It's kind of equal parts. We're trying to survive. We're playing seriously. We're trying not to die. And there's also quite a large element of, hey, what's this? Let's go poke it. <laughs> um, and exploring the features of the game, even if that does sometimes mean dying a few times in the process. Did we get the lizard? I think we got the lizard. He's not moving. Yeah, we got him. So you'll find a kind of a, a, a balance and an interplay of that as we play our, our through this game here and as we go through this series because it's a little bit of a kind of equal parts exploring the game and its features and uh, actually seriously trying to survive. So we're not going to penalize little Hera here for getting poisoned. Um, that really wasn't her fault. And uh, we're not going to say she can't go on. Oh, it's raining. I thought that was something hissing at me for a moment and I was very concerned. Um, but we're not going to penalize little Hera for, for dying. What we're just going to say is she got pretty sick. She collapsed for a while, and then she woke up again and was okay. And um, a little bit wiser, because now we know to be constantly on alert in case any of those... Oh, the, those are Pachycephalosaurus. Okay. In case any of those um, those things happen to be lurking around again. Okay, there is one of those other raptor guys over here. And so we're going to do our threat display a little bit. I think Hera has learned that they're, they're not quite as tough as they may seem, which for, for better or for worse, oh, there, right there, she has uh, she's learned <laughs> that she can deal with them pretty well when she wants to. Okay, is he still behind us? Is he coming after us? Did he run away? We might get ambushed if we're not careful here. 
She's learning to compete, and that's a very good thing. It's an important, important part of her life. Ooh, okay, we took a we took a bad hit there. Okay, we're gonna sprint off. We're gonna rest for a minute. And is he still after us? Yes, he is. Okay. So it really just depends on who gets the bite and where. Because these guys actually can do a bit of damage if you're not careful. So we, we're going to switch. I think we're going to switch to trot mode and see. Can we outrun him just like this? No, we need to let our stamina come back. And sprint. And turn around. And, okay, we can't quite... Uh, can't quite RPR him there. Okay. Oh, no. We're out of stamina. Okay. We got, we're going to have to fight him. Oh, no. We died again. Darn it. So, valuable lesson learned. Um, or not... Oh, I didn't want to retry. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do. I hit the wrong button. Hopefully, that just does take you back to your previous save and not start you over. Um, we're going to... Please tell me this didn't start us over. No, nope, this does, okay, retry does just take you back to your previous save then. So we do have quite a bit of a, we, we play in a quite a forgiving way where we can really learn how to work with the game. Generally, that's how we play the games as well, is we don't tend to implement an, any sort of an instant death uh, sort of mechanic until we actually know more about the game and we're more familiar with its mechanics and um, to the point where we know what we're doing substantially so that we shouldn't be in a situation where we're going to be dying as opposed to kind of just learning what is and isn't going to be possible, what we can or can't do. So especially in the beginning here, uh, we play with a fairly forgiving style. Now I think, I'm noticing there's like a crocodile thing over there and we're going to go investigate it because there's actually two of them. And I think they might be different species. So there's something right here, because look at how little this guy looks. I don't know for sure if they are or not, so let's just run in and bite him in the butt there. Oh, or not. Um, is he actually after us? He does look like he is. No, I don't think these two are different species, but I think this is the smaller of the two species that uh, we can encounter in this game. So we gotta, oh, oh, we gotta be careful. See, we have to learn, with these guys, I think you basically just have to kind of harass them. They're really slow, and uh, they don't turn all that quickly, so you can kind of just run in carefully if you can get around behind them and kind of just bite them in the tail there. And that's a pretty good way, generally, of being able to actually fight them. All right, so like, like that... Oh. That's not a good way of fighting them. <laughs> so what we've learned here is there's a lot of things out there that uh, aren't very nice to young Dakota Raptors. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and uh, stop just poking all the dangers to see what they are for now and see if we can at least make a little bit of progress here. And uh, I think, okay, I don't see anything to eat around here now, which is not so nice. Um, is there anything? There's something over here. Okay. It's one of those little birds. All right. We'll see if we can make at least a little bit of progress before the episode is up because this has turned into a poke of the danger episode <laughs> and we have them from time to time just kind of exploring the world and a lot of these things are new. And so generally when new, new stuff comes out in game, I do try and explore it a little bit and kind of find out what it does, why it's here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. I didn't realize they would fly from so far away. All right, we gotta find something else to eat then. Oh, and he landed too close. Uh, sorry, little guy, but that was not a wise decision. I didn't know they actually would land again. Um, but yeah, so I think little Hira has had enough of the uh, the poke of the danger for today. <laughs> uh, she's had a, a few few little painful lessons. I, I feel like probably what happened is instead of actually dying, she uh. Got, got a couple of nasty bites to the nose. And what is that over there? I think that's a Pachycephalosaurus. I don't think that's um, a T-Rex. So that was my concern. Oh, 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 what is that? Is that... That was one of those... Uh, that was one of those little things, wasn't it? Right over here, okay. Oh, he's right here. She's gonna learn to warn him off. No! No. No. We're not doing this. 
get out of here. She's learning that by making herself look big and scary, she can oftentimes ward off any potential threats. Like, just like that. Just like that. Now, he's still kind of stalking her. And so we got to be a little bit cautious. No. No. Stay away. That's when you get bitten. That's when you get bitten, when you when you do stuff like that. we got to be constantly smelling as we run. Okay, there's another one right there. Do we have one of them after us? We do not. Okay. So, oh, there's one right over here, though. This is when the threat display is really, really nice to have. Okay. Oh, he's right over there. No. Don't you do it. Oh, is that... That's not another... That's another Dakota Raptor. Oh. That's not one of those guys. This is another Dakota Raptor. And I don't know. I don't think her will be too tolerant of having him on her territory. She may be young, but she's not about to let... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse you. No. Yeah, he's coming after us, all right. This is when we do attack you. Because you are causing a problem. All right. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there we go. And we should be able to hopefully leap on him again. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. We didn't get him and we're out of health. Or we're, ah, oh, man. Or we're, ah, oh, we were out of stamina. All right. So those guys are not the best to pick fights with. We got a little bit lucky. And, uh, the first time, I think. And, uh, we probably should stop picking fights. I feel like Hera is a little bit of a, a feisty little thing here. She's not one to just back off unless she knows she really doesn't stand a chance. And so that's getting her into a bit of trouble. We definitely need to get a drink. She's had to go limping back to her little hidey hole here in the swamp several times. Um... <laughs> But, uh, we're, we'll learn. We'll grow. We have to get a little bit stronger. So we're still at age... We're just after age one here. And unfortunately, we haven't made much progress on that today. And it is getting to be about time to wrap up the episode. Um, but hopefully we'll make more progress on that in the future. Did we get him? We got him. Good. Okay. Nice little snack here. And, um... So hopefully we'll be able to make more progress on that, and I think uh, Hura is definitely developing quite the um, quite the grudge towards the uh, those those little I think they're like Archaeoraptors or something. They're not very nice, and I think she definitely is uh, definitely becoming the sort who would uh, not uh, not have a good good uh like she won't be very tolerant of them as she gets older especially once she's strong enough to easily take them on uh because she's gonna get to be a lot bigger than them she's gonna get to be a lot stronger than them they are still they're they're as fully grown as they're gonna get pretty much and she is hardly even ha she's barely even half the way there i don't think she is half the way there yet she's got a lot more growing to do and uh, those guys had better watch out for the future because I don't think she's going to be so tolerant of them uh, once she gets to, be to the point where she can boss them around. Hey, who's hissing at me? Hey, stay away. She's going to try and ward this guy off. She has learned that threat displays can be very effective, although she doesn't really want to have to pick a fight. If she can ward this guy off her territory, that'd be really, really good. Stay away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh, not what I meant to do. Okay, we gotta run, because we took quite a bit of damage there. We gotta heal up a bit. I'm hoping we'll actually be able to make a small amount of progress this time, instead of just getting killed constantly, but... This might not be a very good episode for this. This might have been just a, a don't poke the danger sort of episode. Alright, we gotta let our uh, stamina come back. And here he comes. We're gonna sprint ahead a little bit more. When we start seeing him catching up, we've gotta get out of here. Alright, here he comes. We can kind of lead him a ways off until we regain some more health, I think. Here he comes again. You can hear him catching up. Alright. 
and we've got to be just kind of cautious. Stay away. Nope, he's not going to leave us alone. Definitely not planning on leaving us alone anytime soon here. All right, oh man, all right. Well, that was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll leave her to, to probably go, in actuality, go limping off to her, uh, to her little, little area by the den. I get her kind of, I guess it's not really a den, but she's kind of chosen that as her home base. It's where she retreats to. And uh, we'll, we'll leave this for now. So lessons learned, guys, don't poke the danger. <laughs> um, next time we'll be trying a little bit more seriously now that we know more of what is out there and uh, what could potentially take us down if we're not careful. So we're going to go ahead and leave off here for today, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.